Howdy, I'm Ben, back again. I have a fun video today. I am taking apart my neon manifold and doing a little cleaning on it. You can see here that this thing has gotten fairly grimy with things. I don't know what's going on there entirely, but I tried doing some pumping of some bubble tubes and I got methylene chloride in there with some dye and it needs to get cleaned out. So we're gonna go over how to clean the neon manifold. We're just cleaning one of the side arms today. It's the only one that really looks like it needs it. Things you will need. An ultrasonic cleaner. This one is a Harbor Freight Special. Uh, it's about a hundred bucks. I have another one that's much bigger that I got on Amazon. It's about a five or six gallon, but it's a cheapy, cheap, cheap one that I expect to die any time. So, but it's worked for me so far. So if you find it and it works for you, great. Um, we're gonna need to go through several rounds of chemical in here. Right now I just have warm water in here. We're gonna, what you're gonna need also is Dawn dish soap. Don't take any substitute. You want Dawn. This is deionized water. It is a little different than distilled water. Um, distilled water can still have ions in it, um, sodium and chloride and all that kind of stuff that can affect the, um, when you're dealing with electrical stuff, it can affect how that messes with it. So you want deionized water. Isopropyl alcohol, make sure when you get it, you get the 90% or higher, uh, the 70% you don't want. And the last one is gonna, you're going to need is mastone. Be careful with this one, it is toxic, we have proper ventilation and proper gloves. So, first thing you want, hot water. This, one, this ultrasonic cleaner has a heater on it, so we've got the water already warm, and we're going to add some Dawn dish soap and run it for about five minutes. And that should be good right there. Give it a quick stirring. I'll just use the manifold part to stir it up a little bit. Now my, this little thing here is a little bit small for putting the whole piece in. So we're just gonna stick it in a little at a time and just clean it a little bit as we go. Want right there. And now we'll come back when that's done. All right. We have finished with the Dawn dish soap. I've gone ahead and dumped that. Um, I rinsed off the piece here. You can already look at that, and you can see there's already a huge difference in what we have now compared to what we had before. But we're not there, we're not done yet because there's still the stuff from there on here. We want to have as little as possible on this before we go anywhere. So what we have now in the ultrasonic cleaner is the deionized water. Now before we get started, there are a couple of things I gotta say. First up, I'm sorry for the noise, the vacuum pump is on, and I need it to be prepped for when I gotta pump some neon. Second, this information you have here comes just thanks to Bruce Suba. And for those of us in the neon world, Bruce Suba is a guy, when we have questions, we can go to him. He's often said, learn as much as you can and then more. And so big thank you to Bruce Suba for his willingness to share the information. And he's a great guy to know. So we're gonna continue now. We're gonna, this guy, we're gonna go to the deionized water. We're gonna go in and get all the ions off of this thing. So I'm gonna turn it on and we'll come back in a few minutes. So we finished with the DI water. We are now on to the isopropyl alcohol. One nice thing about this one is that when you're done, you'll be able to save the alcohol and use it again later. So we've got this set up in here and we're gonna go for the next round. Okay, so I finished with the rubbing alcohol. I poured as much of it back in as I could. Should have been a little more careful. I spilled a bunch on my table. I lost some rubbing alcohol. Good news, there's no germs here. But you know, moving forward, I'm now filled with acetone. Remember, don't you want to avoid having your skin come in contact with this stuff as much as possible. I've got my garage door up some, so I've got some ventilation here. And uh, we're going to put this in, and when it's done, I'll show you. This is It's going to be amazing. I've seen some really grimy stuff come out of this kind of a cleaning system, almost looking brand new. So here goes acetone, last one. Okay, we have finished up with acetone. I still haven't cleaned it out yet, but this piece is clean. We can look at that, and you can see there is no signs of the gunk that was there. 
All this acetone will evaporate off there nice and clean and leave nothing behind but just glass. So that's one way that you can get your manifold very clean when you need to get it done. Um, it's very effective. You, I've seen grimy stuff come out looking almost brand new. So if you have questions, comments, think you might have an improvement on what I have, or go ahead and let me know. But uh, like it, subscribe, and look forward to making more neon. So cheers. Okay, so one thing I need to follow up on here. Um, you should be more careful than I was. I hadn't used acetone in that ultrasonic cleaner before. I'd always used it in um, a basin of some sort of glass jar or something, and then put that in the water in the ultrasonic cleaner, which is probably a better choice. Um, as you can see here, I started to melt that plastic onto my table. So that's literally the bottom of my ultrasonic cleaner sticking to my uh, non-asbestos right there. So be more careful than I was on when you do that. Um, put it in a glass container. I just didn't because my ultrasonic cleaner is so small. I probably should have used the bigger one for the acetone. But stay safe and have fun.